everyone this is lamin sani of ls web apps and in today's video i'd like to tackle a question that i get pretty much um, a lot lately and it is what is a php framework and um, when to use one or why to use one All right so that's pretty much actually three questions so what's a php framework why should i use one and when to use one okay so a php framework is uh, pretty much things like you've been seeing uh, on the web if you've been um, searching online or been on the web anywhere you must have heard at least one of these four Laravel, Codeigniter, Cake PHP, and Symfony. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about how I started in web development. So, this um, was the first framework that I had um, ever used in PHP, and it's Cake PHP. And I used it in um, my first year project at university. Um, so, we had a web project, and um, we were um, told to use a pr uh, framework um, so we could have not used the framework but we were advised to use a framework and one that um, we found out was pretty good was cake php okay and i believe it's still good but um, right now obviously if you've been um, following my channel you know i'm a big fan of laravel and it is what i use in my day work and in my projects as well so laravel is my number one framework right now for reasons um, that i will not discuss here but i um, mean other videos i might um, discuss about that but not to say you shouldn't uh, use other frameworks or ditch your own framework uh, this is just my preference everybody has their preference and i respect that so just because i use laravel doesn't make it better or worse than other frameworks they all have their pros and cons and i found enough pros in laravel to use it and that's why okay so a framework is something like laravel or symphony okay so what is a framework in general so all these frameworks they're just built on regular php so what makes them frameworks and um, is that they are just a set of conventions or packages that have been put together so that you can work in a, a more um, consistent way okay so for example making an http call you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time and write your own library to make that http call or um, a, a view um, parser you don't have to write a library to pass views for you or make pretty urls um, like slash um, user forward slash user id stuff like that and um, frameworks take care of all that for you okay so that brings us to the second part of the question so when should you use the framework so in my experience i started out um, doing php with a framework and <laughs> that's pretty much putting the cat um, in front of the horse story so I um, wrote one of my first codes in PHP using Cake PHP, this framework right here. And um, it wasn't the smoothest of journeys, but uh, because I didn't know why I needed to uh, use controllers and views and return um, views from a controller and stuff like that. So it was a bit confusing at first when I started out, but as I dug a bit deeper into the documentation and um, things started to make a bit more of uh, sense, but it wasn't still clear. It wasn't. A, it was a rough journey for me. I will not lie to you. But what I decided was, okay, I'm gonna go back and learn the PHP language from scratch. Okay, so that's what I urge you to do: learn the PHP language from scratch, but do not linger around there too much. Like in after your first three months to six months of learning the language, writing apps with index PHP. That's where we all started with folders. Quickly switch to our framework. So any of these frameworks you pick is fine. Um, for me, I pick Laravel, um, and I must say Laravel is slightly uh, daunting for beginners. I would say that. So maybe something like um, Codeigniter or Cake PHP might be easier. But if you're someone who has wits, why not pick Laravel? You have nothing to lose, and Laravel is one of the most popular frameworks right now. And I can tell you, it is very capable. As I use it at work, and I use it in um, the projects I do, the freelance projects and my um, test projects as well. So there's nothing i can see that laravel cannot do that all the others can do okay so with that out of the way um why you should use one um i've pretty much said it if you see that um you've you're starting to require some complex things that you can't write on your own like um pretty urls and um caching systems and making http calls and stuff like that there's nothing stopping you from putting you together um your own packages using composer but Obviously, every time you start a new um, project, you have to put it together those packages all, all over again. And um, so, yeah, so that's what Laravel does for you. It puts those packages together, and there is the core Laravel itself, 
which you can only have when you use Laravel. And obviously you can write your own framework and put those packages together and we're starting a new project and use that, but then you end up writing a framework yourself. And uh, from experience, I can tell you, uh, it's better to use something that the community has collaborated on and used and tested for security um, bugs, security um, loopholes and um, such like that and for performance that have been tested using unit tests. So better to use something out there and contribute to it if you feel like writing a framework than actually starting your own. So not to say don't write your own framework, but write it for the sake of learning, not writing it for the sake of putting it out there until you've had enough experience. Then by that, I mean years of experience. So put your framework out there but my advice is don't use it for production apps until you're really certain of what you're doing, okay? But hey, you don't have to follow my advice, but this is what I have experienced in my career and it has worked out well for me, okay? I didn't think it would have been wise for in my first year project to decide to write my own PHP framework while I don't even know much, don't know much about PHP. So better to contribute to something that exists. You're going to learn even faster and better things because people who've been in the industry for a while have um, more experience and have um, seen the pitfalls and the ups and downs of um, different kinds of technologies okay so um, yeah so that brings me to the end of this uh, video wherein we had a look at what a PHP framework is and why and when to learn it and I hope that you've learned a bit on um, this video in choosing a technology and um, if you have any comments please leave them in the comments below and until next time I will see you soon cheers bye bye